Hey guys, it's Nate, and today we are doing episode 2 of the Pokemon Sword Let's Play. Uh, last episode we started our thing, we got our score bunny, so yeah. Uh, currently we are in the Forbidden Woods or whatever, and we're trying to save the Wooloo. So yeah. Come on, Gamian, the Wooloo might be in real trouble. This is mad. I can't even see my own hand in front of my face. I think I get what I think I get now. I just play supplements, bro. You're not even putting your hand in front of your face. It is really foggy though. Oh my god, what is that? Is that a legendary one in the? <laughs> the what? Wait, I have to battle it? Wait, what? Question mark, question mark, question mark appeared. You don't even know what level it is? I'm guessing that it's a fire type? So I'm gonna tackle? Oh god, that does not- Oh, it's ghost then. If it does, if it has no effect, it's ghost. What? The mood has no effect on it? It's about ember. Oh, nothing has any effect on it. Give me, I can't see anything, okay? Growl, maybe? Still no effect. I can't see anything. I don't know if that's me or, or um Hop saying that. Ooh, wah. Did the battle just end? Did I go blind or something? <laughs> That'd be funny if a game, if a Pokemon game just starts and you, oh god, I passed out. Hop, hop, Gamian, Gamian. What? Lee, how do you manage to find your way here? Your, your pants with directions, you always get lost. Oh, it's nice to hear from the little buddy, brother who had, who had me word sick. I've been waiting ages for you two, and you never showed. Of course I came looking for the both of you. Wait, where's the Wooloo? We're trying to rescue the Wooloo. It's right there. Nah. <laughs> the little chap's just fine. Now all you had fainted by the time I found you here. You know this place is out of bounds. But it took courage to come... To come in here all the same. And I can understand well enough why you did it. You did good, Hop. He's proud of us. At least we lose all right, yeah, Gamian? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> I thought we'd had it when that weird fog started rolling in and that mad Pokemon attacked. But at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon? What are you talking about, Hop? It seemed loads stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen. And it had that sort of presence. Our moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really. They seemed to pass right through it. Your moves passed right through it? So the fearsome Pokemon they say live in the slumbering wind. Are they actually illusions or something? It's strong enough that maybe the two of you could be the ones to reveal the truth someday. But now let's simply get out of this place. You might you might all be you might you be you'll be all right now that I'm here with you. Even if we did get an earful from Lee, an experience, so this will make a pretty fine first page in the tale of my legend. Don't forget to tell your mom we're off to Wedgehurst now. She'll go spare if you leave without a word. Even worse than Lee just did. 
Postwick, where I'm Postwick Town. That's the dumbest town name I've heard in my life. I'm guessing we're supposed to go in and tell her. Yeah. Bah! Well now, isn't Scorbunny just a sweetheart? And yes, I heard the news from young, young Leon. I'm glad somebody bothered to tell me. Off to Wedgetrust, aren't you? Here we are, a bit of pocket money for your journey. Buy yourself a little something at the Pokemon Center, maybe some potions or something. Remember that score bunny will battle to the very end for you. So don't you go pushing the poor dear too hard. Bah! And you score bunny, look after my little Gamian. Come on to rest any time that you need. After all, east or west, home is best. I've never heard that saying before in my life. Yeah, it's quite the big step, you know, my first step toward being the next champion. Guess I'll probably train up Groupie a bit by having it battle against Pokemon in the tall grass. You should get yourself to the building with all the purple roof and great red and white ball mark up out on the front. That's the Pokemon Research Lab. Is it? Do I have any Pokeballs left yet? Oh, I do. Nice. Let's go. What do we have here? We have a fishing rod already. I didn't go catch them on real quick. What are these Lulu doing? Moose, moose. You wouldn't want to wake up to sleep. The sweet sleeping Lulu, right? Better take it the long way around. Oh, so we're supposed to catch our first mom here. I already did this, you stupid. I'm gonna catch this. I'm gonna catch this, look at you. Is he like a part dark type or something? Honestly, I already know my nickname for him. He looks just like a shady. Okay, it's probably already, it's probably 100% catch rate right now, but whatever, just in case. Almost to level 8. Yep, he looks just like a shady. Oh my god, are you serious? I pressed B. Can you change your nicknames like you could in the other, or in Le like in Let's Go in this game? Please tell me you can. I want to restore it. Also, it doesn't look like you can. Where's the um, name writing thing? Change markings. Nope. We can't change his name. Meh, whatever. I'll change his name on the Watch my Oh, don't think you're getting away. Squabbit. You little squabbit. Don't think you're running away from me. It's burned. No. Oh, it's so bad. I 
I'm gonna try the Pokeball it right now since it's burned. Squabbit was caught. Okay, you have the XP share no matter what. Okay, that's good. Quick attack. Rook D grew to level 5. Or I'll start calling him Shady. Shady grew to level 5. What's his name? He's almost like a raccoon, but he's not. Okay, I'm gonna change this camera angle real quick. Oh, of course. There we go. Uh, it's a squirrel, totally, though. Ah, uh, what do I name it? I really don't know. It almost looks like a bird, but... Or a centret. So in that case, I'm calling it furret to be as furret memes. I'm calling it furret, even though that's a completely different Pokemon. Oh, it's a Wooloo. Hey. Oh, never mind. It's what the heck is that? A Blick Bug? Blick Bug? I'm just gonna ca catch everything I. See. See, uh, I'm gonna click attack. I wasn't gonna ember because I'm assuming it's a bug type. I'm just catching every Pokemon I see because I don't know what I want yet. Once I know what I want, I'll start only catching someone. But right now, but for right now, I'll just yeah. Blip bug looks so like clueless. Almost looks blind. Deafless because it, because it doesn't look deaf, it looks blind. <laughs> Now, so it, until it goes into the party, probably like next episode, then, uh, yeah. That was quick attack again. It's a Wulu. I actually think I'm going to catch another bird because, um, so I can actually name it Shady. Ooh, what should I name it? Beep beep. Beep beep. 
has been added to your party. I'm gonna catch this Wookiee and actually name it Shady. I only have one Pokeball left, but whatever. Got your Rookie was caught. Rookie grid level six. Yes. Shady. Let me see. Um, my bag. <laughs> two paralyzed heels. It's two. Interesting. He got a Charizard since the champion's here. I want to go to the Pokemon Center. Of course, they're blocking the center. Is in this direction, I can tell. Well done, you reached the goal and managed to find the Pokemon Research Lab. You did a far sight better than I did my first time. I'm hopeless with directions. See how your world has already grown, all, all thanks to having Pokemon with you? I'm, I know I'm sure glad I got Charizard with me to keep me from getting lost all the time. Now, in we go. Excuse me. I've got to give it to Professor Man Magnolia. Everything in here looks fascinating. Bowak. Or Bowak, whatever. I'm guessing that's the Pikachu remake this season. Was it the. Or, oh. Oh, the person we talked to at the beginning wasn't the professor, okay. What is it today, Leon? Looking for another never seen before super strong Pokemon? I wish you'd stop by with these outlandish requests. Good to see you too, Yampa. Yampa is Yempa here is a real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around. Oh, it's a he. He came to my rescue plenty of times back in the day when I got lost on the road. Oh yeah, and that's his trainer, Sonia. What can I say about Sonia? Well, I like the way she cooks. Oh, so Sonia is the person. It's just... What kind of introduction is that? Did you forget we were rivals during our gym challenge? It wasn't just Yamper helping out you out. I did too. Anyway, nice to meet you. Name's Sonia. I'm the professor's assistant. Oh, never mind. It was the professor. This is Gangan. He's a new Pokemon trainer. Set him on the right path, would you? What does he think I am? He's always got his head in the clouds. No wonder he gets lost all the time. Oh, looks like you got a Rotom phone. Hey there, Rotom. Brutes. Rotom phones are handy little things, aren't they? They got a map and a, nag and a nag navigation tool. How dumb am I? That said, Leon still gets lost, so... 
Oh, sorry. So tell me, do you know a lot about Pokemon? You bet. Well said. In that case, I'll make sure you can use the Pokedex on your Rotom phone. Just so you know that, whatever. Could you let grand Granddaddy receive the Pokedex? She lives in the house d down the long route too. Hey there, trainer, stop, sorry to stop you. You just left the Pokemon lab, right? So that means you've got a Pokedex, yeah? I love talking to new trainers and giving them useful stuff. Okay, a potion, I already have a, a couple of those. It's a potion, here's it when your Pokemon's HP. Their, their HP is gets low. HP is like, H, HP is like a Pokemon stamina. You can use potions, you can even use potions during battle. Knowledge is power. It's a good idea to talk to talk to lots of different people and read everything you can on your journey. I want to go to the Pokemon Center, Hop. Got your Pokedex from Sonia. And it's time to meet lots of different Pokemon and start building up a strong team. Battling, but battling strong Pokemon in the wild can leave your team in a bad lit, in a bad way. Not to mention what battling another trainer can do. Luckily, we've got Pokemon centers. Luckier yet, they're dead easy to spot. They look the same way. With, they look the same wherever you go. Come on, game! I bet you've never been inside one. I have in different games. Looks way different in this game. Level of main gaming. Is this your first time in the Pokemon Center? Of course not. I don't think you need to tell. I don't. And I don't think you need me to tell you what you already know. If your two kids are Pokemon trainers, you, you might want to buy some potions before you head out. Cheers, I'm already good though. Heading to Route 2, Gaming. I'm heading to Route 2, Gaming. Come find me. Maybe when you're done here. I want to put this workadee to box one. And then put this. There we go. I need some Pokeballs. How much did my mom give me? $300? Oh, okay, that's a solid amount. We can't buy, why can't we buy um, freaking Pokeballs here? We're gonna buy some potions. Six, yes, I already have four. I'm gonna buy exactly 151 though. I want 10 of each of these. They'll be useful later in the game. Well, revives, I won't get as many because I just go to the Pokemon Center. And also, there are 2,000 for each one. I'll just get three for now. What is the? It's just the, Oh, let's go. Write a nickname. Oh, never mind. I don't need to do that. You can write a nickname here, that's cool. Remember a move or forget a move also. You can do that all here. That's nice. <laughs> Listen, Gaming, I've been thinking. If you're a Pokemon trainer now, you, you must want to try your hand at the gym challenge, right? The gym challenge? The gym challenge, mate. Annual competition where trainers can battle it out.
for the right to challenge the champion. And the trick is that you have to be endorsed if you want to take part. And Lee doesn't think doesn't seem to think I'm up to snuff. So I'm thinking I ought to talk to the professor and see if she could help. I've got to take part two. A proper rival is just the thing every trainer needs to keep growing stronger after all. Keeps you motivated, right? The professor's house is way down at the end of Route 2, so let's head there and give our team some chance to train up a bit along the way. Do I get more Pokeballs? Decks, whatever. Uh, we still have none of these. I have no Pokeballs right now, so I can't really catch them on. I was expecting to be able to um, get Pokeballs at the center. Over here, Damien. All right, Damien. I think it. I think ta it's time we filled our teams a bit. Well, I'm here to teach you how. You'll need to catch Pokemon if you got any hope of filling in that Pokedex. Lee, where'd you come from? Only look at you, little Damien. You've already caught some of your on your own. Your mom gave me gave you those Pokeballs, didn't she? I'll give you some more Pokeballs in return. I'll only ask that you catch plenty of Pokemon. The Pokemon around here seem easy to catch, almost like the itching to join the trainer's team, wouldn't you say? 20, that's a solid amount. Pokemon on your team will get EXP points when you catch Pokemon too. And of course, they'll get, they'll get EXP points from battle, so take on the other trainers you meet along the path to help your Pokemon thrive. Your, your team will keep on training and growing as you get stronger together, no doubt. But even I don't know exactly how yet. Show your champion something good, alright? Alright, I'm gonna catch loads of Pokemon. The, prefer the professor will be shocked when she sees. What is here? Oh, I want that fox. I don't even know what it's called. Nicket. That's a solid Pokemon. That's a solid looking Pokemon. Is it a fire type though? I hope it's not. I'm just gonna quick attack. And quick attack one more time. I can risk a quit a crit. I saw another one. I want this I want this fox on my team. I hope it's not a fire type though, because I already have one. Obviously being score bunny. Is it going to do the whole deck entry thing every time I catch a mod now, though? It should, right? Okay, good. It's dark type. Interesting. Yeah, I'll give it a nickname. Uh, what do I want to nickname it? It's a female, uh, I just feel like nicknaming it Foxy, I don't even know why, just, and obviously it's a fox, but like, I'll spell it like this though. What, how did I even run into him on? A sea dot, interesting. Isn't that a grass type? Is it could use a grass type in my party.
I'm gonna catch it now. See, that is a grass type, right? Yeah, it is. Ah, uh, what should I nickname it? Actually, it evolves into a um, nice leaf, right? I don't know. I'll decide. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'll just call it. In that case, I'll call it. Nice lock. Or I might be completely wrong. I don't know. Whatever. I'm just nicknaming it that. Maybe it doesn't evolve into nose leaf. Okay, guys, uh, in between episodes, I will think about who should who should replace the party or if I should just put C dot in the box. Actually, no, I'm adding C dot to the party because it's a grass type. So, yeah, guys, uh, this video is going to be done. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Bye-bye.